meow! Welcome back to my channel. I am Miki and today I wanted to show you guys the worst eyeshadow palettes in my collection. When I was planning on doing this video, I was actually going to have the title as the top five worst or bottom five, whichever eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection. But as I was going through my collection and deciding which ones I don't like and then kind of evaluating from there which were like the worst, I have a lot more eyeshadow palettes in my collection that I don't actually like that much. And I guess this may or may not come as a surprise. It seems a little contradictory to me just because if it's your collection, why wouldn't you like what's in there? My answer to that is that basically, I guess because I am a collector, I collect eyeshadow palettes, it's what I like to do. I guess it's gonna happen that some you're not going to like as much, especially when you have subscription boxes, you're going to get things, or you're just kind of getting random things that are used just for the collection purposes, then yeah, you might not, you might get some disappointing stuff in there. So I guess that's why I had quite a few. Now, granted, I have about 70 eyeshadow palettes and about 10 of them are very disappointing for me. So that's not a huge percentage, but still it may seem strange to some of you guys watching. So I couldn't really narrow it down to just five. Um, I did narrow it down to 10 and then I narrowed it down further to 7 because these 7 are truly, truly disappointing to me and I'm going to go over them right now and tell you why. These aren't in any specific order. I'm just picking up the first one. The first one I got right here is the Too Faced Summer Eyes. I got this used off of Glambot, I want to say. I think it was Glambot. So I didn't know anything about it. I just saw it. I thought it was cute. A lot of people raved about these nine pan eyeshadow palettes from Too Faced and I wasn't familiar so I got it. One, it's a lot like another eyeshadow palette that I already have. The only difference is one shade and that's why this one is worse is because that one shade is worse. But this is what it looks like. It's basically got three browns that are very similar in tone. I don't know why they put three browns. This is kind of like a satin up here and then these two are matte but they've got gold glitter. This one has more gold glitter and this one has less gold glitter so <laughs> no one likes a matte with glitter. Then we've got like a banana shade over here. It's called Sunbeam. It's a yellow with gold glitter. Then we have this called Peach Fuzz. It's a peach matte with gold glitter. And then we have this very light blush shade. There's this kind of pop of color in Mermaid. This is not my favorite color. I don't really like dark teals. They're fine every once in a while, but it's not something I wear a lot. So it's just not an exciting shade for me. Coral Crush is the different shade. The other one had a very shimmery kind of um, pinky bronze called Firefly and this one has Coral Crush which is a coral color with you guessed it gold glitter. <laughs> At this point in Too Faced career they just love gold glitter I guess. I don't know. And then there's like this shimmery pink which is fine. This is fine but it's so boring with the browns that are all the same. All the gold glitter that's so unnecessary and just none of these shades wow me. It's just not good. It's very disappointing. The next one in the pile is Wendy's Contraband by Urban Decay. I don't originally know what made me pick this up. I think from an aesthetic point of view, it looks really pretty. But really, these browns, I mean, they're just browns. They're just smoky, shimmery browns. There's no mattes in this palette. There's not enough to really make a complete full look unless you just want a shimmery look, which is, it's just not what I do. I do the whole eye contouring thing. This is just not for me. The trick up here is just not special. Here's another dark teal. I already talked about how much I really don't like dark teals. They're fine. It's nothing I'd write home about. Flash right here, you think it looks gorgeous, but it barely shows up. It is such a weak, 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 weak excuse for a purple. And I, oh, sorry. I think I was blinding you guys. It's such a weak excuse for a purple and I've heard purples are difficult, but golly, 
I mean, it's just like nothing. And then Tornado, I mean, it's just a color to deepen up that outer V. It's fine. Nothing special. Nothing exciting. Very boring. And it's supposed to be Wendy's favorite, so I guess we just don't have the same taste. That's what it is. The third one is the Studio Makeup On The Go Eyeshadow Palette. This is... It doesn't have a name for it. And there were two that I got. I got a warm toad and this one is the cool toned pinks. And it's just a bunch of boring pinks. I mean, there's nothing cool. You can pretty much create an eye look with this because every look that you do with this is going to come out looking like the other eye looks that you came up with. Like I could never do a one palette, three looks with this and probably everybody would accuse me that it's the same look because it's so boring. It's so dull. There's like a setting shade, two light shimmer shades that are pretty much the same, a sparkly shade, two deepening shades, two dark shimmery shades and they're all like that pinky mauve color it's just so boring so boring that's like one of those palettes where it's like i really don't want to think today so i think i'll use this if that's your thing you buy it my fourth one that i don't like is the lorac pro 3 if you've been watching my channel that's my dog by the way if you've been watching my channel you know that i've been painting this and that's the only reason why this has gotten so much use and I am going to depot this whenever I get the time. I promise I'm going to depot this and I'm going to post a video about it. But this was such a disappointing palette, which was why I decided to pan it. I just wanted to get as much use out of it as I possibly could while I had it. And then these shades, this, 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 and this I'm giving to my daughter. And the rest, these are just, they're just plain old neutrals. And the shimmers... The sh I feel like shimmers are where a palette needs to shine because, yeah, mattes are awesome. They're kind of like your foundation. They do have to work really well. They have to blend well. And these do. They really do. But what sells a palette, I feel like, are the pops of colors or the shimmers. Anybody can do a neutral palette. Give me something that makes me think about that palette and want to grab for it. That's what... A palette should do and this just doesn't do it this next palette has got to be the worst palette in my entire collection that I've ever had ever now before I had a YouTube channel at the beginning of January of last year I did start a pin that palette that wasn't the Lorac Pro 3 in fact it was the mellow treasure chest beautiful packaging very sparkling i love the packaging okay i am up for some sparkle and shimmer but the shades inside are the worst formula for eyeshadow that i've ever used in my entire life these beautiful what you assume are beautiful sparkle shades they swatch like a dream they swatch like a dream then you go to apply them on your eyelids and they are the most powdery most flaky not their shades ever they're like chalk I'm barely brushing my hand across those swatches and they just they blow away with the wind they're just gone I've tried fix plus I've tried water I've tried my fingertips I tried to originally pan this palette because I knew it was bad but I couldn't get past a month. I said, no, this is not gonna work. And I decided, because I love these shimmers, I started deciding that maybe I'll make Franken shadows. I think I need glycerin or some kind of binding agent. I think that might be what these are missing. And these over here, these four mattes that you see in the corner, they don't show up on your eyes at all. They don't show up, they're terrible. That dark brown one does, but the other two, they look like nothing nothing they're ugh. it's a really terrible palette you guys it's really terrible and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it but I'm pretty sure I'm going to take some and try to make Franken shadows and the rest I'm just gonna chuck because I can't deal with the whole palette where it's just disappointing the whole thing's disappointing now 
This is the sixth one and it is the palette that I'm painting this year. I am a hate panner and I do pan things that I hate because I want it out of my collection. I want this gone. I want it out of my collection and I'm making progress on this and the shadows are crap. I'm not going to lie. They're terrible, but I am using them up and I'm getting them out. Pretty much the only shadow I really like is petal pink. And I think because it's just a good highlighter. It's a pinky highlighter. The black tie, the black doesn't show up black. It shows up like a gray black. Rich aubergines, barely pigmented. Spiced coffee looks just about as pigmented as rich aubergine. In fact, I can't tell the difference between the two. Silver plum is like a shimmery version of rich aubergine and spiced coffee over here. Burnished gold doesn't show up at all. You can't even swatch it. I've given up on this shade. This shade, it doesn't show up. It's not going to happen. I just know there it is right there. If you're wondering. It just doesn't happen. And I don't even try to use it because I know I can't use it. So that one's not happening. Soft lilac is terrible. It doesn't blend well. It's not that pigmented. I don't know if you guys can see how much of a dip is in this already, but there's quite a dip and that's because I really had to dig in this. I'm using it right now pretty much as my only transition shade and so it's getting used up. Buttercream is quite terrible too. I'm using it to set my eye, but honestly I can't tell if it's actually there. Or it's just getting blown away by the wind. I don't know. This is a terrible palette. Don't buy it. Now my last terrible palette is the Vice 4. I feel like a lot of people are really disappointed in this palette especially because it looks pretty cool. When you're looking at it, it looks neat. I hope this isn't messing up the lighting. It's got some unique shades in here, but it's got too many dark shades. Some of the cooler shades like Crowbar are just really gritty. Flame doesn't show up for anything. It's so gritty, it's so chunky, and it barely shows up. It's just, Discreet's a good shade. Does that count? <laughs> I don't really like, I've started noticing that I like greens, but I like warm yellow greens. I don't really enjoy blue cool tone greens. This one was disappointing. It's probably the least disappointing out of all the ones I've talked about, but it's pretty disappointing. I felt like I felt like I had to mention it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching me rant and rave. I will see all of you guys in my next video. Make sure you give me a like and subscribe before you go. Bye for now.